Hey, it's Alexa, and in this video, I'll be discussing how I went about creating my developer blog site. I always had wanted to add a blog to my portfolio site, but I wasn't sure if static content worked well with my portfolio's current tech stack. For some background information, my portfolio is actually a full stack app, meaning I can crud almost anything from that website itself. So I can actually log in as an admin user and buttons will appear and I can change the content from there. But blog sites are generally static content. And I feel like if I were to incorporate that into my current portfolio with that tech stack, I would actually be spending more money with servers and databases and stuff that I don't actually need to spend. So I figured I would subdomain my blog and create an entirely different app. So my blog and my portfolio are actually two different apps. There's tons of JavaScript frameworks out there, Next.js, Quick, SvelteKit, and I could honestly use any one of them to build this blog. But what I had to do is really think about the requirements for this blog and ask myself, what is the best tool for the job? I wanted to keep my blog static. So I needed to use some sort of static site generator. I also wanted it to be customizable. So I didn't want to use a website builder like Wix, WordPress, and I didn't want to use a blog service like Dev2 or Hashnode because although those get your content out to a greater audience, you can't really customize your blog because you're kind of forced to use their UI and styles and stuff like that, which I didn't want to have to do. And honestly, I'm not really worried about gaining an audience because honestly, my blog is for me to solidify my thoughts and understandings of certain concepts. So I'm not really worried about if other people see it, <laughs> kind of just a byproduct. Also, I wanted it to be easily deployed. So I didn't want to have to log into a server every time I wanted to push a change to production. Preferably, I wanted to set it up with GitHub Actions or some something like that. And lastly, I wanted to make sure it had good performance. So these requirements led me to a relatively new JavaScript framework called Astro.js. And Astro has the basic stuff that pretty much all JavaScript frameworks have nowadays, like performance optimizations, actually has new rendering techniques like component islands, SSR capabilities, API building, data fetching. But the thing about Astro is that it's a content-focused framework. So you actually have to opt into these other features like SSR or API stuff. And Astro projects actually come with zero JavaScript by default. And JavaScript is what slows most websites down. <laughs> so they're really looking to optimize these static sites. And a blog is a perfect example of a static site. So why not use it? Also, with these principles, you get amazing Lighthouse scores. I'm not saying you're gonna get automatic hundreds on Lighthouse if you use Astro. I got 300s, 100 for SEO, 100 for best practices, 100 for accessibility. I got my performance up to 94. Originally, my performance was lower in the yellow area and that wasn't really good. And I ended up just changing one of my PNG images to a .webp file and that really helped the performance. So you can't just sit back and relax, but it, it kind of does most of the performance things for you, which is really nice. Also, the main reason I would say I used Astro for this project is that it has built-in markdown support. And for the past few years, I've been writing all my notes in Obsidian, which is a markdown note-taking software. So this was a must. I wanted to be able to draft my blog posts in Obsidian and then somehow transfer them to my blog site. 
Right now it's just copying and pasting, but later on I hope to eventually create some sort of Obsidian plugin where I can publish a note to my blog in just one click. One thing about this markdown support is that it doesn't come with latex support. I know that's not how you say latex, it's LaTeX, but I'm gonna say latex because it sounds better. I don't know why. Anyway, Markdown doesn't have latex support out of the box. Obsidian, however, adds that latex support. So I'm used to being able to use the dollar sign notation to put latex into my Markdown files, but Astro didn't have that. So I had to do some stuff with the Astro config files in my project, but it was simple enough to do. And if you want to see how I did that, go check out my blog post in the description. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button. And I like to think of Astro as a futuristic SSG. So it has all the nice features that web developers are used to now in other JavaScript frameworks like Next.js, file system routing, JSX like syntax from React, Astro has all of that. So it's really easy if you're familiar with those technologies to switch to Astro or use Astro for your static projects. The developer experience with Astro is just great, especially if you're creating a static site. I can't really speak for those creating full stack sites with Astro. I know it's possible. Astro knows that it's a content focused framework. So they give you that blog template right out of the box run their build command, npm create astro at latest, select that blog template. That's how I made my blog project. It scaffolds everything for you. The folder structure, very similar to other frameworks too, like Next.js. Also, like I mentioned before, the astro syntax is just like JSX. However, it's not reactive. And that's something I actually like about it because it's not a full-fledged UI framework. And I like that Astro doesn't make the assumption that you want a full-fledged UI framework. .astro files are basically just templates. And of course, if you need that full-fledged UI framework, you can add in whichever one you want. Lastly, deploying, so simple. I think they're partnered with Netlify, so very easy to set up. Give them your GitHub repository. You can set it up with GitHub Actions and connect that to Netlify bot. Whenever you push something to a production branch, it'll deploy it. No need to log into servers or anything like that. All in all, Astro is the way to go for any static site. This is what they do. This is what they're built for. The learning curve is small. The performance is great and it just works. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.